Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today we've got our hands on the new Samsung Galaxy Note 8. We're gonna go over a couple of tips and tricks to help you set up your phone, okay? So the first one, and this is any smartphone you get out of the box, you're gonna to wanna to change that screen timeout because this is very irritating. You're using your phone. If you don't touch it for a few seconds, the screen goes off. So let's go ahead and go to display. And we're gonna to go to screen timeout. Let's change this to at least two minutes so the screen is not timing out so quickly. All right, so that's our first little tweak there. The second one is gonna be on our lock screen. So on our lock screen, um, we have all our pesky apps that pop up, kind of clouds a really beautiful display. So I'm gonna show you how to basically filter and only have your important stuff show up on that lock screen. So let's go ahead and unlock it here. Go back to settings and we're gonna go to lock screen and security and then we'll go down to notifications so what i like to do is so right here it says show notification show notifications from so i turn off all and then i go through and i just find uh the important app so for example i always want to see text messages because those are important some of you guys may use apps like Hangouts, um, and I don't see that in the list here, but normally that's one I would turn on. Um, you might have an important email account that you use for work or for personal stuff, whatever. I turn that on. In this case, I'm gonna turn it off because even I don't like to see my uh, emails on my notification panel. Really just text messages, and normally if you have like Snapchat or Instagram, you may wanna have those selected so you can see if people are direct messaging you or things like that. And other than that, uh, everything else I like to turn off because if not, it makes such a beautiful lock screen look so crowded and you know. So those are the only two I'm gonna turn on for now. I, I haven't installed all of my apps yet that I normally use. So once I install others, I'll go back in and tweak this. But um, just to show you, now if we go to our lock screen here, it's a lot cleaner. In fact, this even shouldn't be showing up, but it is. But now you can see a lot more of your beautiful lock screen and guess what? Only the important things are gonna come through, not crap like, oh, you just installed this app or whatever. So the next tweak we're gonna do is we're gonna change our shortcuts down here. Um, because for example, we don't need the camera app here because you can just double tap your power button and it will automatically launch the camera. See that? So why do I need to have quick launch camera and have this shortcut when I can make this something more important. So let's go ahead and unlock, go back to the settings. We can just go recent and we're going to go to lock screen and security and we're going to go to app shortcuts. And now I can change and I can make that camera something more important. Uh, let's see what we want to make here. So maybe you want to make your email, for example, your shortcut. Or I think another important one is like uh, Google Maps. You know, you get in the car, you need to look up directions pretty quick. You can literally just swipe up and get right to Google Maps and look up your directions. So um, I'm going to leave the phone one there, but sometimes I'll even make that left shortcut like my text messages or something like that. So. Anyway, that's our next little tweak in just customizing and setting up your phone. Our next one is gonna be, um, we have our little panel here. So this is, these are our uh, S Pen uh, shortcut apps here. And so what we're gonna do, if you swipe or basically scroll up, you can add one shortcut to be one of your favorite apps, an app you use a lot. So if I hit add shortcut, I can now go in and say, hey, you know what? Maybe I buy a lot of stuff on Amazon. Maybe I want Amazon to be my shortcut, okay? And I think there might be room for another one here. Let's see. Maybe your uh, your gallery. we get to your pictures quickly. We can add that. So we actually have room for, for two short, or it looks like you can add a bunch. So it's not just one, you can add a couple. And now, whenever this opens up, I could have multiple shortcuts in here. And you can also move them. So maybe you don't want your gallery to be so low. I can hold down on it and I can drag it up here. And now 
when I open this up, I can have my shortcut show up a lot higher on the list here. So you can reorder these however you want. You don't have to keep it in this order. And if you say, hey, I may never use uh, Create Note or I may never use Screen Write, you can just hold down on it and you can, let's see, I can drag it up and remove it and just take it off the list altogether. For now, I'm just gonna keep it there. So that's another little tweak right there. Our next one is gonna be, um, let's customize it. So we have this great uh, theme on the home screen here, but guess what? There's a theme store that's built into your phone. So just by holding down on the home screen and going down to theme or widgets, excuse me, not widgets, did that too quick. If you go to wallpaper and themes, there's a whole theme store in here where you can download uh, free or paid themes. Um, depending on what you're looking for. You can also change it. So Samsung has a lot of other stock, really beautiful themes like this one I really like as well. It's, oh, it's a, a kind of a brighter color. Like the, 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 the one that comes stock is like this kind of pinkish color. Now we film that one, I kind of would like this one better. So I can just select that. It has the infinity wallpaper and now You've got a nicer uh, screen. There we go. So got a different wallpaper for our lock screen. And we also have a nicer one for our home screen. What you can also do, and if we hold down again, wallpapers and themes, you can also change your icon. So there's a whole separate icon store where you can get custom icons as well. So maybe you like the wallpaper that comes with that theme, but maybe you don't like the apps. So, or the app icons. So you can go in here and you can find all kind of different uh, icons. This is a cool pixel one. Looks kind of different. Actually, I don't like that. It's, it's kind of like an old school feel to it. Now we're really feeling it. Um, there are a lot of free ones and paid ones. You can also just do a search. Maybe you're looking for something specific. I like to search vintage because you find really cool stuff with uh, vintage. So. Here we go. This one is kind of funky, depending on what you're going for. So um, go through that theme store and customize your phone and make yours stand out and just look unique. Okay, so that's that. Our next tweak is gonna be on the uh, home screen. So it's a beautiful layout that Samsung has with the, the clock and the Google search bar, but um, I want more. I want widgets and I want my favorite apps on here. So um, if we just hold down right here, we can shrink this. This is again, beautiful, but it takes up a ton of space. So I'm just gonna shrink this up like this and make it a lot smaller so I have more space for other things. And then I'm gonna get rid of this because guess what? If I just hold down on the home button, it automatically is gonna take me to my Google Assistant which will allow me to search quickly anyway, or I could set it up to just say, okay, Google, and then it'll automatically search something for you. So it sort of doesn't make sense to have this Google search bar here anymore, although it looks nice. It just takes up unnecessary space. So hold down on this, hit remove, and now I've got a ton of room for other things. So you can hold down, go to widgets. You can add your calendar. You can add your email. Let's see what else we have here. We can add your, your little text messages. Let's see, I'm not gonna add anything right now, but we basically have a lot more room now to add widgets to our home screen. And you can also swipe up and maybe add one of your favorite apps as well. Maybe you wanna have um, S Health. You wanna go ahead and bring that to your home screen. And we can just fill this up with our apps. Now guess what? If you're like me and you love to have a ton of apps on your home screen, you're gonna wanna do this as well. Hold down, go to home screen settings, and we can change our uh, app screen grid. Or actually, um, you wanna change your home screen grid, excuse me. And you can have it add an extra row at the bottom here. So you can really put a lot more. If you're the type of person who likes to have a lot on your home screen, maybe you want all your apps right in front of you. Um, literally just 
changing your ratio from five by five to five by six gives you even more real estate for your widgets and for your apps. I'm just gonna leave it on five by five for now. I think that's already a pretty good size amount of apps to have on there. All right, so our next tip is gonna be, this is our last one here. It's gonna be our notification panel. So I love to organize these based upon what I use the most. And for example, I don't fly a lot, so I don't have a lot of need for airplane mode. So if we just swipe down, I can, let's see, I think you hit menu. Oh. Let me see, I think you hold down. Nope, that's not it. Okay, before you hold down, you're gonna have to swipe down, hit the three dots, and you're gonna hit button grid. Not button grid, button order, excuse me, button order. And what you're gonna do is you can now move around your shortcuts. So for example, I love to have power saving mode be one of my main shortcuts. And I love to have GPS because I turn these on and off a lot. So it's easier when you swipe down from the top, these are the first things that you're gonna see. So in fact, screen rotation, I'm gonna move that down just a little bit. And then you'll see what this looks like when I finish. So now when I swipe down, these are my immediate shortcuts. I've got Wi-Fi, I've got my speaker, sound, Bluetooth, my uh, flashlight, GPS, and power saving mode. These are the six notification switches that I use the most. So I love to have, I love to organize this so that when I swipe down, I can get right to the ones I use the most. And if you wanna get to the other ones, you can swipe down further and then you can get to those. But um, th those are the tweaks that I would make when I first get my phone. So this video was basically showing you how to set up your phone with a couple of basic tips and tricks. So I hope you guys did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if you did find it helpful. And make sure you also subscribe to H2Tech videos and have a good one.